Hey everyone, and welcome to Dollar Workout Club Chest and Back Day. My name is Lynn, this is Natalie, and this is Drew. And to understand our color scheme here, whoever is wearing green is showing the beginner or modified versions of the exercises. Yellow shows the intermediate level, and red shows the advanced moves that we're gonna be doing in today's exercise so that you can follow someone at your pace. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through just the three movements we're doing in today's exercise. Natalie here is gonna show both the green and the yellow version for us. Drew will show the red and then we'll go ahead get into the warm-up and explain the workout for you guys today so the first move we're going to be doing is push-ups for a green or modified level you're going to be coming up against a wall taking a couple steps back the further you step back the harder it is the closer you are the easier it's going to be you're going to have your arms straight out in front of you but a little bit wider than your shoulders then you're going to bend at those elbows bringing in your chest towards the wall and then pressing out from the wall really squeezing your chest muscles as you go in and squeeze squeeze as you come back out, just like you see Natalie doing here. At the yellow or intermediate version, you're gonna be doing it on the ground and on your knees. You'll notice the key element here is that Natalie's gonna keep her back flat and her butt down. Her arms are again a little bit wider than shoulder width. She's gonna bend at her elbows, dropping that chest to the ground, hopefully hitting the ground if possible, and then pushing and squeezing her chest muscles as she extends all the way back up as you see her doing here. The red version Drew's showing, you're gonna be doing it on your feet. Again, your back's flat, your butt's down, then he's gonna bend at those elbows, bringing his chest down, extending all the way back up. Do a couple for us real quick. Perfect, and we'll of course be prompting you through proper form throughout the workout. The next move we're doing, we're all doing the same thing. The only difference will be the weight you use. So at a beginner level, you might wanna use something really light. You can even use water bottles around the house, or I'm using five pound weights here. Intermediate's gonna be using a little bit heavier, and advanced is gonna be going up in weight from there. So use a weight that's best for you. What you're gonna be doing is having your feet pretty close together. You're then gonna be hinging at your hips, and you're gonna be lowering down as you keep that back flat. So make sure that you don't round the spine. You wanna keep your back flat flat throughout the whole process. So you're hinged, you're bent, your, your knees are bent a little bit, you're hinged at your hips, your arms are straight down in front of you, then you're gonna lift those weights as you keep your elbows in close by your body and you're gonna really squeeze your shoulder blade as you extend that weight all the way up to the top and then lower it down, bringing the weights up close by your body and then squeezing those shoulder blades and extending it down. Just making sure that you keep your back flat throughout that entire motion and really squeeze those shoulder blades at the top. The last movement we're doing today is jumping jacks. So at a green level, you're gonna be using your arms, bringing them up and down like a traditional jack, but instead of jumping, you're gonna be stepping side to side and you can go as fast as pace as possible to make it a little bit harder for you. So go at your own pace. Yellow is gonna be doing a jumping jack, but at a slower pace. You may not be go jumping as fast as you're gonna see red doing the jumping jack, very wide, fast, quick movements. We're really trying to accelerate our heart rate in this exercise when we, sit, when we go into the jumping jacks. So those are the three moves you're doing. Hopefully you know who you'd like to follow <laughs> based on us showing you the exercises. Natalie and I are gonna go ahead and jump into the warm up. Follow along with us as we do that and Drew's gonna explain the workout for us today. All right, everyone. What we have today is a ascending, descending ladder of workout today. So we have push-ups and then bent over rows and then jumping jacks. And so the way it's structured is we're doing five push-ups, 10 bent over rows, one minute of jumping jacks. So follow along with the, the clock that's on the screen so you know when to start your one minute of jumping jacks. Then after that, you do 10 push-ups, 20 bent over rows, one minute of jumping jacks. So we're still going up that ladder. And then you do 15 push-ups, 30 bent over rows, one minute of jumping jacks. Repeat that again, 15, 30, one minute of jumping jacks. Then we start going down. 10 push-ups, 20 bent over rows, one minute of jumping jacks, and then five, 10, one minute of jumping jacks, and then you're done. So go at your own pace um, and uh, have fun with this. And if you get lost with the, your rep scheme, it'll be on the screen for you to see throughout the whole workout. So uh, hopefully you don't get too lost and just follow along with whatever color scheme you're following in today's workout. So, so we're doing five quick push-ups just to kind of loosen up <clears throat> as we're finishing up this last little warm up. And then I want you to get into position because we're actually after that, we're gonna be starting relatively soon. <coughs> so grab your water bottle, grab a towel if you need it, make sure you're near your mat or your wall. We're starting in three, two, one, and go. Starting with the five, five push-ups. You guys, we're all going two, at our own pace, like three, Drew said. So it's four, not a contest with anyone else, just with yourself. <coughs> Challenge yourself and go at your own pace and keep track of where you're at. 
three. Remember to keep your back flat as you're doing this motion, squeezing as you lift those weights all the way up, keeping those arms really close to your body, you guys. <clears throat> Remember quality reps. So even though you might want to do this as fast as possible, make sure that you're doing quality reps on those push-ups and bent over rows. And make sure you look <clears throat> at the timer when you stop with those bent over rows so that you know when you're stopping to start your one minute of jumping jacks, okay? And then keep your pace up as fast as you can. We really want to elevate our heart rate here. As you know, at Dollar Workout Club, we believe in working out smarter, not longer. So these bursts of the intense exercise to get the heart rate up is intentional so that you have a stronger afterburn after the exercise is over. Focus on your breathing, though. 20 seconds left, yellow. About 15 more seconds. If you're, not, if you're not following along with us on the screen, that's okay. It's okay to go at your own pace. We have the workout written on the screen there for you to be able to do that. And just time yourself. Almost there, you guys. All right, Team Red. 10 push-ups, 20 bent over rows. All right, going straight into the next set, you guys. Even though we're all going at our own pace, you want to try to go as quickly as possible while keeping good form. So try not to take too many extra breaks. Take a break only if necessary to grab a quick drink of water. Remember to keep focus on the number of reps you're doing. Keep focus on your good form. Going into bent over rows if you're following along with me. If you have a hard time remembering, we're always doing double the number of rows as we did the number of push ups. Okay. Even though we're going quick, you guys, make sure you focus on good form. Okay, keeping that back flat throughout the entire movement. <coughs> For me, on my quality reps, I like to do a pause at the top of each push-up oh. or each bend over row and just pause for a second and squeeze in between so I'm not going as fast as possible with that extra pause, but definitely adds a degree of difficulty, which is great for results. Make sure 30 more seconds. Make sure you're keeping track of where you're at, you guys. If you're not following exactly at the pace we're going, make sure you're looking at the clock on the screen so you know how far into your jumping jacks you are. And keep that momentum up, keep that heart rate up, keep your pace going. <coughs> Try not to decrease in intensity just because you're tired. Try to kind of push through that. Almost there. Five more seconds, Team Red. If you're following along with me, man, relax. Okay, 15 now. 15. Almost there, about less, less than 10 seconds if you're following me in green. Good job, yellows. Hey. All right, going into the next set. -ups. If you're following us, it looks like all of us are on push-ups. Remember on these push-ups to keep that back flat, that butt down, really squeezing your chest as you come up to full extension. <clears throat> okay, 30 bent over rows. All right, make sure to keep that back straight, you guys. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. If you need to take a break while you're doing these push-ups because you're a little fatigued, your arms are sore, just shake it off real quick. Get right back into it as quickly as you can. Shake it off. Shake it off, shake it off. I knew one of them start singing. <laughs> Woo. Nice job, you guys. Moving right into your bent over rows. Like Natalie said, a great way to remember is you're doubling the reps. So we're going into 30 bent over rows. That's a lot. If you need to break it up into sets of five or sets of 10, go ahead and do that. You really want to focus on using your back muscles to pull yeah. the weight up and not trying not to activate your biceps or your triceps as much, but really focusing on using your, your back. Keep your back straight. Five minutes into this workout, about halfway, almost halfway done. You should be pretty fatigued by now. It's normal to be a little out of breath. <coughs> if you're not, 
Increase that intensity, you guys. If you're not tired at this point, you might be lifting too light. Try to increase your level if that's the case. <clears throat> Looks like yellow and green right now are at about the exact same pace. Yep. If you're following along with us. Uh, almost. Exactly. I might be a little bit ahead. Not that I'm keeping track. I said yellow and green, but oh. I mean, if you want to show off Sorry. and throw yourself in there, you can. <laughs> Just that you guys know. Sorry, it's a guy thing. Good job, you guys. Keep pushing through. Keep that heart rate up, that intensity up, okay? Should be hard. If you're not breathing hard, maybe jump up a level okay. during the jumping jack. Go at a faster pace. Moving that body as quickly as you can. <clears throat> We're almost there. Good job, everybody. We're almost done with the ascending part, and then we'll get down to the descending, which is the same number of reps starting off, but it'll get easier from there. All right, you guys, going back into push-ups. Again, we're doing 15 again. This is the hardest part, though. After this, we're going down in reps. So push through the pain. We're getting into the second half of the routine. Yellows, I really want you to focus on getting your chest all the way to the ground. <clears throat> good job, everyone. Make sure you're breathing. Focusing on that good form. Back's flat, butt's down. Nice job. I know it's pretty tough on that last hard set. Doing 15 push-ups back to back is not easy. Goodness. Good job, guys. Right. This is a tough workout. Tough Make sure you're squeezing those shoulder blades on those bent over rows. Squeeze at the top. <coughs> I'm taking a small little break halfway in between that set. So I did 15. So I need to do 15 more. If you didn't need a little break, that's okay. Keep going at your own pace. Keeping that back flat. Good job, you guys. We're almost eight minutes into this workout. Oh, man. Almost there. All right. We can sink again. And sink. <laughs> and we're basically starting at the eight-minute mark doing jumping jacks. So if you're following along with Team Green, Team Yellow, we're going to about the nine-minute mark before we descend back down in our reps. Good job, everybody. All right. Because we're going down in reps, maybe try to increase your speed on the jumping jacks, going a little bit faster, getting that heart rate up. We're halfway through that one minute. If you're following along with us. All right. 20 bent over rows. Ready, and go. Nice job, you guys. If you're beating Drew, make sure to leave that in the comments. <laughs> we love when that happens. Keep going. Almost there. Five more seconds, and then we're going to jump into 10 push-ups if you're following along with green and yellow. All right. Back into push-ups. Remember, don't skimp on your form. Back flat, butt down, going as far as you can to the wall or down to the floor and really squeezing your chest as you extend up. All right. Two more sets of jumping jacks, team red. We got this one, and one more after this. Nice job, you guys. Good job, guys. Nice job, so 20 bent over rows if you're following with us. All right, let's do this. Make sure you're really squeezing those shoulder blades at the top. See if you can go unbroken. By that, it means doing the full 20 reps without stopping. If you need to take a little break, that's okay. But try to push through, because we're almost to the end. 16, good job, guys. <clears throat> All right. Almost there, Team Red, almost there. After One this minute. Way. Jumping jacks. Go. All right. We have this round of jumping jacks and one more, and that's it. I don't know if you guys are anything like me. 
I don't love jumping jacks a lot. <laughs> I don't either. Okay. They get your heart rate up, and they're chance. really good at burning fat. They are. And I know it's hard towards the end because we're tired now, out of breath, sweaty, and fatigued. Really make these last couple rounds matter, you guys. We really only have one more set. After we're done with these jumping jacks, we're going to go into five push-ups, ten bent over rows, one minute of jumping jacks, and you're done. Okay? A quick, high-intensity workout that's going to burn fat for you. You know, up to 48 hours post-exercise when you do this type of intensity workout. All right, keep going. Only about 15 more seconds before we start in on this last set. Looks like Red's finishing up over here. I'm gonna try and pick up the pace this last minute. Nice. I might look like a crazy bird <laughs> trying to can't fly. All right, you guys, but, last set, best okay. set. Five push-ups, focus on good form throughout. <sighs> I feel like a crazy person. <laughs> <laughs> nice job, you guys. You look like a crazy person. <laughs> 10 bent over <laughs> rows. Sure. Good form, squeezing those shoulder blades at the top. 20 more seconds. If you guys live in an apartment and have downstairs neighbors, they might not <laughs> like you too much right now. Ooh, nice. All right, looks like we're starting. Same time, us greens and yellows. One minute left. Bringing up that intensity, you guys. Go all out for this last round. Uh, Look like a crazy bird, like Drew. <laughs> Reminds me of football practice. We, you know, beat it down on our thigh pads. Made a cool noise in the stadium. Talk about intimidation. <laughs> you guys wouldn't understand. Any guys well, that play football. When I played football, football we used to do that too. Yeah. <laughs> the good old days. All right, you guys, come on. Ooh. We're almost there. Keep it up. Good Make job, sure guys. that you're touching your hands at the top. I don't want to see any half action like this, okay? Bring your hands all the way up. Nice. You say half action? Half action. <laughs> That's perfect. Half ash. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, almost there, you guys. About 10 seconds left. Good job. Cheer on your teammates. Good job, you guys. Good job. We're almost there. Almost there. Nice. Two, one. Ah. All Good right. job, you guys. We're done. Nice okay. job, you guys. We're going to go. Make sure and stay with us for the cool down stretches. Super important. First stretch we're going to do is the chest stretch. Okay, so you can be on the ground. Or you can be up against the wall. But basically, you're going to lay on your chest with your arms out to the side. And from there, you're going to turn in and push that shoulder into the ground as you keep your arms straight. And you want to twist your body the opposite way. Look up. The more you look up and twist that body, the more stretch you should feel in your pectoral muscle and your front deltoid. If you're anything like me, you're starting to sweat more now that you stopped. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> My heart rate got up pretty high during that workout. So the reason that we focus on the cool down so much is because it's really important to bring your heart rate back down before you start your normal day-to-day -day activity. Uh, switch it up. Other side. Oh. Keep that arm straight. Push into the ground all the way and twist that body. Opposite way, look up. <clears throat> Someone yawning again? Yeah, I always <laughs> yawn. It's getting more oxygen back into our body. <sighs> all right, next stretch, you're going to be on your back. I call this the iron cross stretch, or you can call it whatever you want, but your arms are out to the side, just like this. And you're going to bring one leg <laughs> over and let that leg fall down to the ground as you try and keep the shoulders pinned to the ground. You should feel a nice, good stretch in your mid and lower back. This is one of my favorite oh, stretches. I was a runner in college, and our coach used to always have us do this stretch. I love the stretch, too. And you, you can't always you know, extend your leg as far out as you hope because you want to keep both shoulders on yeah. the ground. That's crucial to this move. So go as far as you can. You might feel like you're twisting your body in half. It feels a little bit like torture, but <laughs> trust me, your body needs this. Oh, oh. Close those eyes. Nice deep breaths. You should really feel the stretch right here in your hip flexor, in your glutes, in your back. Slow that heart rate down. Don't 
fall asleep. I know. You guys did uh, awesome today. Thank you for joining us. Tell your job, friends yes. and family about Dollar Workout Club. Make sure to stick around for the recipe and motivation video after this, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Aloha. you with a really, really quick, quick tip today about, about drinking, drinking more water. More water. I'd, love to, I'd love, to water. love to talk to my clients about drinking more water because it actually has a pretty easy way to start living a healthier lifestyle. lifestyle. Most, of us, Most of us don't drink enough water. water. And, if and if you're wondering about, about how much water you should be drinking, take your, take your current body weight, body weight divide, divide that in half, half and that's how many ounces a day you should be drinking minimum. If you're really active and doing a lot of intense exercise, I'd even encourage you to increase it from there. Drinking water can really help improve your health and fitness goals. A lot of the reasons why that people don't realize is drinking water actually boosts your metabolism. By drinking, By drinking a bottle of water within that hour following, it boosts your metabolism over 30%. In addition to that, it helps with digestion, it helps bring nutrients to your body, it helps with your skin. There's so many benefits of drinking more water that a lot of times that's all my clients will start with. So if you feel overwhelmed with you know, starting a whole new lifestyle, eating completely clean, getting in all these workouts, instead just focus on one simple change like drinking water. enough water. One of the ways, of the ways that I ensure I get enough water, water is sometimes I'll have a gallon jug of water and I'll even like mark different, different lines on it showing around what time of day I should have drinking that much water. So at the top it might say 9 a.m. then towards the middle um, it might say you know 1 p.m. and then 5 p.m. and then 9 p.m. and then hopefully gone by the end of the night. So that's one of the tips. In addition you can buy a, a larger water bottle and just know can you fill this up four times during the day just to have a gauge of where you're at so hopefully, hopefully that tips helps and, and drink up great okay okay yeah. Yeah. yep hey guys we just want to take a second to let you know how much we appreciate you dollar workout club wouldn't be a club without each of you guys and you mean so much to us yeah, and we want you guys to leave your comments. There's a section below where you can talk about if you've tried the recipe or how you thought of the workout or how you did in the workout or questions about the motivational tips. If you have comments or questions, please leave them below. Yeah, and don't forget to invite your friends, you guys, to join us here at Dollar Workout Club. And don't forget to follow us on social media using these handles below. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.